Hello everyone and welcome back to Royalty Now, where we bring you face to face with figures from the past. Today's subject is King Edward IV, the man who was a victor in one of the most complex political situations ever recorded. The Wars of the Roses. Nearly 100 years of scheming, backstabbing, and betrayals between the descendants of two brothers culminated with Edward IV and the York family's white rose wearing the crown. The Wars of the Roses would later become the inspiration for George R.R. R. Martin's legendary series, A Game of Thrones. If you would like to see our full video on the subject, you can click the link in the description below. Today we'll not only talk about the appearance of Edward IV, but also his wife of legendary beauty, Elizabeth Woodville, who some claimed was a witch that put a spell on the king. So, what did Edward IV and Elizabeth Woodville really look like? Currently, there are no contemporary portraits of either Edward or Elizabeth, so what we are left with are copies made from originals. We do have some pretty good descriptions of them both, which I'll be using to inform my recreations alongside the portraits. Let's start with Edward. We know that he was a very tall man. Edward's remains were exhumed in 1789, and they measured almost 6'4", which was gigantic for this time. This examination also revealed some long brown hair, which matches his portraits. Edward was considered extremely handsome in his youth, although it was remarked upon that his looks faded quickly because of his hard partying lifestyle. Sir Thomas More says that Edward was of body mighty, but in his latter days with over-liberal diet, somewhat corpulent and burly, but nevertheless not uncomely. Regardless of his looks, Edward was always considered likable and charismatic. As we know from the history, this really worked to his political advantage because King Henry VI was seen as so weak. These were the kings that actually fought and won their crowns in battle, so Edward's height and strength were huge advantages. For Edward's recreation, I'm going to use this portrait, which is generally agreed upon to be the most accurate, and shows him in his early 30s. Now, let's move on to Elizabeth Woodville. As I said, no contemporary portraits of Elizabeth exist outside of some stained glass images and some manuscript illustrations. I've used this famous portrait of Elizabeth. There are several versions of this image, and they're all thought to have been made from the same lost original. We can see her blonde hair peeking out from her headdress and beautiful light brown eyes. Some historians even believe she may have had light gray or even light green eyes, which have darkened with the varnish on this image. Now, Elizabeth's story has been quite romanticized. Obviously, she must have been stunningly beautiful to convince the king to marry her as a woman far below his rank. But based on descriptions from her life, she probably was very beautiful according to the beauty standards of the period. A Burgundian chronicler called Elizabeth the most beautiful woman in England, saying that the king had chosen her because of this very great beauty. There's also a quote that she had heavy-lidded eyes like those of a dragon, which is an amazing description, but may not have been written at the time she was alive. What's really cool about this main portrait of Elizabeth is that it shows a collision of fashion trends from all over Europe. She's wearing a style of gown similar to those of the Burgundian court, which was her sister-in-law's residence and one of the most famously influential courts of the time in terms of politics as well as fashion. The style of her gown is referred to as a transitional dress, meaning it bridges the gap between the V-neck Burgundian gowns and the square-necked gowns we see later on the Tudors. Elizabeth is also wearing a variation of the Henin headdress. Henins were this pretty crazy style of headdress popular during this time. They would use wire to shape a giant veil over the head, and they could take many shapes. We also see a trend all the way from Florence, Italy, which was now booming during the Italian Renaissance. Elizabeth's hairline in this portrait has been plucked or shaved back. So, let's take a look at the faces of King Edward IV and Elizabeth Woodville now.
Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.